Ritat Akhmetov, Ukraine's richest man, has held sway with most Ukrainian presidents. So far, Akhmetov has managed to keep it this way under President Volodymyr Zelensky. Akhmetov owns an enormous business empire with assets like Ukraine's largest steel and mining company, largest electricity supplier, and most watched TV channel. His companies control over 50% of Ukraine's iron ore market and extract nearly 70% of Ukraine's coal. Mining iron ore and coal is very cheap because the government maintains a very low extraction fee. Akhmetov also uses the state-owned railway monopolies to transport iron ore and coal so cheaply that the railway suffers losses. The iron ore is then sold abroad. The growing prices for the iron ore make Akhmetov even richer. His net worth has increased by nearly $5 billion, according to Forbes. Akhmetov uses his wealth to buy luxurious real estate around the world. The oligarch has bought the most expensive apartment in London and a lavish villa on the French Riviera. He is well equipped to survive any possible threat, influencing nearly 50 lawmakers from President Volodymyr Zelensky's party, according to Ukrainian media. But his leverage over the country doesn't end there. His companies are responsible for a quarter of Ukraine's electricity production and can use it to demand beneficial state regulations. The authorities say that Akhmetov's DTEC deliberately cut coal supplies in the middle of winter's coldest months, posing a threat to Ukraine's national energy security by risking power outages. DTEC denies meddling with the market. Meanwhile, Ukraine is investigating Akhmetov's alleged scheme, Rotterdam Plus, which cost Ukrainians $1.4 billion. Under the scheme, consumers were made to pay extra for their electricity to cover the supposed cost of the delivery of coal from Rotterdam, even though no coal was ever actually delivered from there. According to authorities, DTEC illegally colluded with energy officials to get the formula approved. The company denies this. Even though it was open over three years ago, the Rotterdam Plus case has yet to go to court.